Hello, this is Romeo Cat Computers, and today I decided to get out some of my microwave oven capacitors and experiment with them, as I've never really been able to do this before. I'm not really sure how long this needs to be plugged in for to charge it, so I'll just plug it in for a few seconds and check it. Uh, the transformer is humming. All right, let's try that. Jeez. Okay, so that's a start. Let's try for a bit longer this time. Okay, so that was about the same as last time. I think that might be the best we could get out of this one capacitor, but that is a good start. Okay, let's try two capacitors. Geez, that one almost seemed a bit more exciting. So here's the new configuration. I've added a second transformer and I've wired the secondaries in series with each other to get about 4,800 volts. So it should be able to charge the capacitors even more. And I also dug around and actually got my nice homemade uh, disconnect box. Of course, this isn't a breaker, it's a disconnect only. It handles up to 60 amps, although the circuit itself being 15 definitely can't handle that, but hopefully we shouldn't be exceeding that amount. So anyway, let's uh, turn it on and hope I wired everything correctly. Okay, so there is some ominous humming noises, more intense than usual. That's a good sign. All right, let's try shorting it. Jeez! I'd say we're on to something here. <laughs> oh, this is perfect. Okay. I don't know if that got across on camera very well. The other ones, the first two, were little pops. This one, like, almost kind of hurt my ears. Okay, before I go even more insane, I gotta at least do that one more time. Uh, I didn't let it charge that long. Uh, what am I going to do next? Another capacitor. Alright, three capacitors. And I think for this one, I'm going to let it charge for a good 10 seconds. Alright, that ought to do the trick. That was a pretty good one. So here I am about three hours later and I have it all assembled on this nice piece of wood. And here's the outlet that I'm using. It's even got a little glowy part. And it, basically it's just so I can keep everything together and uh, also, it tidies the wiring up here. I'll show the back. I've employed a rather interesting system of mounting the capacitors because I don't have the original mounting brackets. And for now, I just have two separate AC lines going in. And you can see I also use some uh, Romex staples. And just like in real life, it's always a one in three failure rate. These nails always screw up and then make a mess like that. Anyway, let's fire it off. So here I'm charging up my novelty shocker before we fire it off one more time before I end the video. And you can see I put some silicone grease there because uh, it was having some arcing issues from the diode to the outside of the transformer. 
All right, let's let it go. Anyway, as you've seen, I have dozens of these and I have dozens of these, but I'm going to call it here because I'm getting kind of tired and I only have so many of these wires and all the connectors and stuff, but one day I'll revisit it and I'll probably hook up as many as I can and it will be really fun. Anyway, thanks for watching.